Hey guys, so I'm gonna start off right over here by my little section where I keep my body products and some stuff I use to take my makeup off with. Right here, we have this little palm plant that I just bought from Home Depot. Right here, I have all of my tools that I use for my facial mask. I have the little fan brush, a smaller brush here. And over here, I have my Tata Harper body oil. That's actually not the Tata Harper body oil anymore. It's actually just coconut oil that I use to take off my makeup at night. And then I have this new body oil from Apatera that I got in my Petty Board box. And back here, I'll show you guys I have this body oil from Ella & Co. I put it everywhere when I get out of the shower. And I have this organic cream, which I use for the rougher parts of my body. I use it on my knees and my feet and my hands, just those areas that usually get drier throughout the day. So we're gonna go up to facial washes. My African Black Soap. I love, 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 love it. It's so good. It's also really great for when my skin's a little bit more oily. And then I also have my Orenda Illuminating Face Wash with vitamin C on days where I wanna look luminous and glowy. I've been loving this entire collection. And then I have my Fit Glow Beauty Vita Active Cleanser. On days where my skin is just going absolutely crazy, I love my Osea Ocean Cleansing Mud. And now I'm gonna move over to my toners. So I have my rose water, you guys know. I love, love, love it. I use it all the time. And I also love my C Vitamin Boost from Osea, and I have my Roman Chamomile and Tea Tree Toner from Northport Naturals that I use in my facial mask, actually. Now moving on to my serums. I have quite a few serums. I have my Ocean Mineral Serum, my Active Calm Face Serum from Uni, and my Fit Glow Serum from Fit Glow Beauty. Out of these three, I can say that I love, love, love my Uni one. Whenever I'm breaking out, it really helps calm down any kind of inflammation. And then I really love my Fit Glow Serum for dark spots. I have this Coco Kind one. I love this one, it's new and I've been trying it out. This is the Illuminating Face Serum from Orenda Skincare. And I love that, especially for days where I wanna look a little bit more luminous. This is my rosehip oil from Shatera, and this is really great for brightening up the skin. I have my macadamia oil, which I love using in my hair. I have my argan oil, which I love using at night. I actually love mixing it with the rosehip oil. I have my Bored and Badding Farm to Skin Glowing Solution. I love tea tree oil for any breakouts. I have lavender oil for when my skin is a little bit harder to deal with, like maybe around like hormonal breakouts or if I'm experiencing any kind of acne. I absolutely love this hero oil right here from my Petty Bore Box. It's from Poetic Blend. I'm actually thinking about getting the full size. My smaller collection of moisturizers that I have here. Um, this is my Blemish Balm from Osea. Um, I love using this for every day. It really helps mattify the skin. I have my Miracle Cream, and then I have my Argan and Rose Water. Down here, I have my eye stuff and my serums. This is the Orenda Eye Concentrate, which I'm absolutely loving for day and night. I really just love this. I've been using it a lot. I just really like the roller ball and how easy it is to apply and how cooling the sensation I get when I apply it. Then I have my Aria Intense Eye Balm, which is a really luxe brand. I really, really love them. Their eye cream is amazing. And I have this Province Full Brow Serum. I've been trying this out because it came in my Stava box. Then I have here my two Kesh Argan Oils, which I use for fragrance. I've started doing that. There's Eucalyptus and Orange Blossom. And then over here, I have my Coco Kind Organic Sea Moss Exfoliator to exfoliate my face. When I take it into the shower though, because it gets everywhere. And I have my all-time favorite mask of the moment, which is the Charcoal Corrector from CDF Skincare. It's so good if you have like oily or acne prone skin, but you want something more gentle. And then I have my Northport Naturals Rejuvenating Mask. Now this mask is really, really good if we're brightening up the skin. And then I have my Moroccan Lava Blemish Relief Mask. This mask smells so good. I like to combine it with my charcoal corrector. I've been doing that lately and I've been liking that a lot. Back over here, I go into this little thingy and I make my mask usually like a couple times a week and I just give myself a pamper. 
So that's all that's in my bathroom. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Bye guys.